Dina, I got to speak with organizers of the event who say not only is this an opportunity to celebrate people of all abilities, but it's also a chance for volunteers to interact and learn from the special needs community. From the moment they arrive till the end of the night, A Night to Shine aims to give people with special needs an unforgettable prom experience. It's just a big old party where nothing matters that night. Everybody's, you know, just there enjoying each other's company. And it's very important to promote that. And at this prom, everyone is crowned king or queen. We have hairstylists on hands. They walk the red carpet. They get paired up with a prom buddy, which is a volunteer for the evening. Started by the Tim Tebow Foundation, A Night to Shine is held nationwide on the same day. This year, the local nonprofit Down by the Border will be hosting the prom once again in Brownsville. It's just a night of, of, of happiness and, and pure blessings, and, and, and it changes your mood and, and changes your perspective in life. Omar has been a volunteer at the prom for the past six years. He says it's truly a night to celebrate everyone's differences. A lot of them don't really get to get that prom experience that, they get in, that a lot of people get in high school. So for you to see them having fun, dancing to whatever music that, that is on, it's, it's, it's beautiful, it really is. To attend, prom goers and volunteers must be at least 14 years old. For 20-year-old Nathan Rios, this is something he looks forward to every year. My favorite part is the dancing. I enjoy it and then I enjoy having fun and I enjoy taking pictures. Tonight, they have a date and they know it. And it's this dance belongs to them. We just happen to be invited. But it's not just a special night for the prom goers. It's also an experience for parents. The smiles, the laughter, the thank yous at the end of the night from the parents because they never thought their child would experience a moment like that. You will see something in your son and daughter that you probably have never seen before. This year's prom will be at the Amigo Land Event Center on February 10th, and organizers say they're ready for a magical night. We're ready to rock and roll again. We're ready to, to dance and laugh and smile and, and have a great time. So far, more than 200 guests have signed up to attend. The nonprofit is looking for more volunteers and potential sponsors. For more information on how to sign up, you can visit our website, caregv.com. Sandra Rodriguez, Channel 5 News at noon.